Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode with the Canning Nana. So today I'm gonna to show you how I make chicken soup out of the chicken soup that we canned right here and our chicken stock that we just made the other day. I'm gonna be adding extra white egg noodles to it. And I have two cans and some stock because there's only two of us. So let's get started. Okay, so we are going to do this one-handed since I've only got one hand that's working today. So I've went ahead and I've gone open this with my can opener here. So I'm going to put the first can in the pot. Get all the chicken out of there. And we're going to do the second can. Oh, these smell so good, you guys. Yeah. It already has lots of broth in there, but because we're gonna put noodles in it, we need more liquid. So we're gonna add the chicken stock. Oh, this smells amazing. And we're gonna put this on the stove and just heat it until it's hot enough to eat. Um, and we're gonna add these noodles right here to it and I will take you guys along for that in just a minute. Okay, so here is the soup cooking right before we add the noodles. So I'm just gonna stir this. Look at how delicious that looks. You wouldn't even know that these, this was home canned, you guys. Wouldn't even know. So I will say that once I open these, I realize I did not put enough chicken in this at all. Um, more vegetables than chicken <clears throat> but I do have a cup of noodles right here ready to go into the water so if you find yourself not having enough chicken or carrots or celery or onions that is a great time for you to add your dehydrated or your freeze-dried food to this the soup and add whatever else you need so if I decided I needed more carrots, I would add some of my dehydrated carrots or my freeze-dried carrots from Thrive, um, or onions, or celery, or even chicken. In fact, you don't even need vegetables. All you need is a can of the stock and your dehydrated vegetables or your Thrive freeze-dried vegetables, and you have your own soup ready to go with some noodles. It's that simple, you guys. Okay, so we are going to add our noodles. So I'm going to stir these in. We're going to let these cook and turn it down a little bit. You don't want it boiling too much, just want it on a simmer. Okay, these are almost done. So for a little variation, if you don't want noodles, you can always make chicken dumplings with your soup as well. Um, I use a box of Bisquick and use that recipe to make the dumplings. They are delicious, super easy, super fast if you're making your own soup like this. So while this gets ready, these noodles are almost done. Yes, I, I turned it up a little bit. <clears throat> Gonna give you the word of the day today which is going to be Thrive Freeze-Dried Foods. So if you guys have tried them, um, tell me which one that you prefer, which, which you like. And if you haven't tried them, let me know if you'd like to. Um, there is an October special going on and you can find my link in the description box. Um, one of these days I'm gonna show you how to make soup with only the freeze-dried foods. It is just as delicious as this, just as quick. Great for camping, great for emergency food, uh, great for earthquakes in case the power goes out like what happened here today. We had an earthquake, we had a power outage, um, and had I not had the uh, electricity back on today, um, we could have run with a generator or I could have fired this up with a little um, propane stove and made this and done it with all thrive food. So 
just want to show you how simple this really is. And yes, you cook your noodles in, right in the soup itself. This way the noodles absorb all that delicious chicken stock and make them extra good. And I just serve this with some sourdough bread with butter and that's it, ready to serve. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget the word of the day. And in order to win my next subscriber appreciation giveaway, which will be at 8,000 subscribers, you need to enter the word of the day in the comment section below in each of the videos from October 13th to November 13th. Be subscribed and hit that like button and please share our video. Thanks for watching you guys. Um, hope to see you soon.